What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Elder Scrolls V Skyrim video. This one in particular, we're going to be going to the top of the world to talk to Argnir, or however you pronounce his name, to essentially gather some information about a specific shout that we need to literally take down Alduin. So, if you're excited for this video, do me a huge, 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 huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. Alright, so we can't fast travel from in here, unfortunately. So, let's go ahead and make our way... I think this is the exit... Outside. So, we can quite literally just fast travel to the top of the world. It shouldn't be very long or anything like that, and... Um, yeah, we should be able to get through this part of the quest line rather quickly, I believe. So, what is that sound? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Bone Wolf. Is that his name? Bone Wolf? Yeah. Nice. Alright. Um. Top of the world. There you are. Hi, Hrothgar. This is going to be pretty interesting, to say the least. I wonder if they even know. Full disclosure, they do. <laughs> let's go. Well, te technically they don't. But it, let's just say uh, I have to go and ascend to higher places. Um, Where is this dude? There you go. Argnir. Your training proceeds well. Wind, got you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I actually am here for a specific reason. I need to learn uh, a shout that apparently was used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Canada. Who have you been talking to? Does it matter? Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Um... I have nothing to hide. The blades helped me find out, uh, find out all, all about it. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Well, I mean, he makes a valid point there. Uh... Uh Damn, that's true too about the secrets. Here, let's go with this one. This seems to be like the middle ground. Uh as a matter of fact, the blades just want to defeat Alduin. Isn't that something you want to do as well? What I want is irrelevant. It's not this though. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. Yeah, that's a little extreme. But what I'm gathering is that you're not going to help me? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So, can you teach me the shot then? No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. Wow, thank you. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Uh, I thought you knew all of the words of power, though. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. Uh, so what's about what's so bad about this shout? was created by those who had lived under
under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. But they had every reason. Maybe it didn't come from hatred. Maybe it came from preserving life. Because Alduin is literally known as the world eater, right? So they're trying to not get their world ate. I don't see it as evil. I see it as self-defense in my opinion. But okay, uh, if the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. Uh, who's Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. So why haven't I spoken to him yet then? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Uh, and how would I get to the top of the mountain? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Oh, okay. Uh, is that gonna happen now? What are you doing, Argnir? I'm so confused right now. Here, let's come over here to get my dog out of the way so Argnir can walk his ass over there. Hi, Bori. Argnir needs to relax because he's, uh... He's getting, uh... He's allowing his biases to show. I have a goal. And my goal is to defeat Parthenax, not to end the world. So, I, uh, see where his loyalties lie. There's no way in hell I'm gonna allow the world to end. Alright. Hurry up, Argnir. There we go. Where are you at? <coughs> oh yeah, I still need to go get my companion. Jazargo, don't I? Dun dun dun. Where are we going? Um... This actually looks really freaking cool, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Get out of my way! Slow ass mofos, I swear. Gotta stand in the fire, man. I'm freezing out here. Woo! Let's get some of the back. Um. Unlock it then. Hurry up, man. I'm freezing. Lock. Alright, got it. Clear skies shout. Oh, he's giving me all three words. Cool. Hell yeah. Looks like I got all three words. I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Will do, sir. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Nice! Well, thank you. Let's go ahead and uh, equip that shout. Clear skies, he says. Sky spring summer. Yay! Alright. Well, let's go. Let's go see this Parthenax. Ready, set, look! Go! Fuck off! Hell yeah! Let's hurry up before we end up dying. 
Come on, give me my shout back, damn it. Ah! Ready? Whatever the hell he said. Oh god, I, that scared me. Am I getting hurt here? I'm not sure. Kind of seems like it, but at the same time it doesn't. Let's go. Oh god, I thought I fell off the mountain. Wow, that's actually beautiful. Oh, fuck me. Oops. Dog. You're useless, man. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, come on, stop moving. Come on. Got him. I need to hurry up and run before I freaking die again. Or not again, I haven't died yet here, but still, you know what I mean. Ready, set, go. Fuck, not another one. Alright, come on, baby. Come on. One more. Is he trapped? I think he is. Alright, let's go. Come on, I'm, I, I need to not get hit by this ice storm. Also, I hope there's no more uh, ice rats or whatever the hell they're called. Come on, baby. Where's the next? Oh, fuck my life. Come on. Ah! I wish I had Jazargo. You'll never take me alive, you worm. There we go, come on. Woo! I'm a master at the bow. All right. Let's go. We should be good for the most part. The Battle of the Mountain is what this will be called. <laughs> it will go down in history as the men who climbed to the peak. Let's go. I'm freezing up here. I think we're here. Ready, set, go. No. Yeah, you're a little late there, buddy. Oh, this place has its own marker. Nice. Throat of the world. There's a world of power. Oh, fuck. Um, hello. I am your lock. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Well. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Well, first of all, um, I'm glad you're not hostile, so pleased to meet you. Second of all, um, I wasn't expecting a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the shout known as Dragonrend. I was told you could teach me how to do that. Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovaki. Alright. I have spoken. The Rothmulag waits. Nice. So I get another show. Woohoo! Oh, he's giving 
give me the power to. Nice. Um. Do I have it now? Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Will do, ma'am. Uh, shout, fire breath. Don't I already have fire breath? Oh, yeah, I got another word. All right, ready? Oh, oh. Yes, Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Hell yeah. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Yeah, I kind of told you that already. So, how did you know I came from Drag for Dragonrend? <laughs> it's like I already explained this to him, but all right, here he goes. Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovahkiin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. So then, how do I learn this specific shout then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this doom? Oh, you know. I need to destroy Alduin. Yes, Alduin. Zembach. The elder brother. Gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Because it's my duty? The prophecy says that only a dragonborn can stop him, right? Mm, true. But Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak, just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. <laughs> do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez? Of fate. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't really come here to debate philosophy. <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a Dova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? Um, so I want to point out real quick, he's basically saying that debate and combat are interchangeable for them. So my question is, whenever a random dragon comes and starts attacking a village in Skyrim, they're essentially just trying to debate them. Yeah, dragons are dangerous no matter what. Uh, dragons like mountains, right? <laughs> mm, true. 
but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Yes. Vaucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Uh, using the dragon wrench out. Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. True, true. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin. But this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. So, okay. Are you saying that the ancient Nord sent Ad Alduin forward in time? Is that what I'm getting at? Or are you getting at? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. So, how does this help me at all? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. That's pretty cool. So, do you know where I can find it, uh, this Elder Scroll? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. So, the Lord Keeper at the College of Winterhold might know. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Um. Zoom, Ark, Moral. Alright, what's going on? Uh, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> um, so he's literally freaking out. So, hold on, what the hell's going on right now? Alright, that- what the fuck is wrong with- Alright, I'm leaving. I gotta go back to the College of Winterhold anyways. To get Jizargo, so let's go ahead and do that really fast. Cause we definitely need my- uh, need my homeboy with us at all times cause he is a savage. And I love him to death. I said this before, but I love him so much. That- Oh, look, there he is. Hi! He sends a call, but Gajit feels warmness from your presence. Well, thank you. Uh, follow me. Then lead on, friend. Thanks to you, the people of Skyrim will continue oh, to have a God. place to study magic, even if most of them resent you for it. 
I don't know why anybody would resent me, but thank you. So we got Jazargo back. Um, hold on, where's the, what's the marker? Where's it sending me? Hold on, uh, let's look at the quests. Uh, I met with the master of the gray beards, the dragon Parthenax. Uh, he told me that the ancient orcs used an ancient scroll to cast Alduin forward in time. If I can recover the, that same elder scroll, I may be able to use it to learn dragon, uh, Ren shout directly from the ancient heroes. Um, it doesn't show on map, but we can find the lore master and if I had to guess, it's probably that uh, that orc in the library. Where would I find this? That's the Archmage's quarters. I think it's this way. The Arcanium? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Come on, Jazargo. Um, excuse me, sir. I need to ask you something. I'm not one for commendations, but I might have lost everything that matters. So thanks. Um, you're welcome? I'm actually here on some official business. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. Have you seen or heard anything about that? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? Uh, both. <laughs> of course I do. Do you have one here? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I seem to recall a situation in a different game where something like that actually happened. Uh, do you at least have information uh, on them? Actually, you know what? I need to find one. I was told uh, you, uh, you could help. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Awesome. All right, then. Where's my books, damn it? All right, he went to the cabinets. I think he's going to put them on the table, if I remember correctly. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Thank you. So this is the effects of an Elder Scroll. All right. Whoops. Uh, let's see how long this is, because if it's super long, I'm not going to read it. Uh, fuck, dude. It's long. So let's go ahead and uh, go through that. And there we go. All right. This one's not too long. Let's read this one. This one's not too long. Um... Ruminations on the Elder Scrolls by Septimus Cygnus, College of Winterhold. Imagine living beneath the waves with a strong-sided blessing of most excellent fabric. Holding the fabric over your gills, uh, you would begin to breathe, drink its warp, and weft? Sure. Uh, though the plant matter fibers imbue your soul. The wretched plankton would pollute the cloth until it stank to heavens of prophecy. This is one matter in which the scrolls first came to pass, but we are, we, the sea. But are we the sea, or the breather, or the fabric, or... I just fucked that up. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Archmage or not. My rules about books still stand. I should freaking put an arrow in your face. Uh, the Ruminations book is incomprehensible. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well... He's dead. He's been gone for a long while. Too long. So... he's dead? Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. Became obsessed with the Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. Huh. 
Why do I have an optional part of the quest to talk to Arknir? All this might have been lost were it not for you. Thank you. Alright, so let's see. Uh, world map. Oh, it's actually just north of here. Alright, let's go and find out all of that. We have a long little journey because there's definitely a cliff. What the hell's going on? Oh, fuck. Wrong. Damn it. Let's go back out. Beep, beep. Sorry, Jazargo. I know I'm literally going back and forth with you. Uh, so that's the exit. I don't like closed doors. They don't need to be closed right now. Alright, let's go. Um, could we just jump off the mountain and survive? Let's see. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, fuck. You know what? YOLO. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> uh, no! I can't survive. Oh my god. Well, we have to go that way anyways. Let's try this way. YOLO! Oh my god, this is terrifying. <laughs> oh, I think Bethesda made this purposely shallow just so that we don't cheat and, and uh and jump off like that. Alright, so screw it, let's go. I'm gonna I'm still gonna jump off the mountain. Just in a different way. As a matter of fact, I got an idea. Bam! I cheated you, Bethesda. Now, uh, Jazargo and my undead dog have to go all the way around. Oh, fuck me. Ah, uh, we're good. We're good. Yep, I'm not even worried about it. What is that? Are those just rocks? I think they're just rocks. Let's go for Narnia! How far do we have to run? It doesn't seem very far, but at the same time, you never know. You just never know. Oh, these things annoy the shit out of me. Get out of here, Nernru. I blame Oblivion for that. Although Oblivion is one of my favorite uh, Elder Scrolls. Let's go! I think my two favorite Elder Scrolls is this one and Oblivion, as a matter of fact. I'm pretty excited for Elder Scrolls 6, whenever it comes out. Right in the face. Oh god, what the hell was that? I heard a lion, so I'm out of here. Run! Or, technically, swim! We're here. Oh god, I don't know why I slowed down. Hell yeah. Sigmus, uh, Septimus Sigmus Outpost. You better be in here. Hello? Hello? Is that? It is! Hello? When the top level was built, huh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. Um, what brings you here? Ah, the ice entombs the heart. The bane of Kagranak and Degothur. To harness it is to know the fundaments. The Dwemer lockbox hides it from me. The Elder Scroll gives insight deeper than the Deep Ones, though, to bring about the opening. Uh, so do you have an Elder Scroll here? I have seen enough to know their fabric, the warp of air, the weft of time. But no, it is not in my possession. 
Uh, yeah. So where is the scroll? Here. Well, what? here as in this plane, Mondas, Tamrio, that nearby. Does not help. Relatively speaking, <laughs> on the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. You are an absolute maniac. Can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> so where's this Black Reach that you speak of? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Of hand. The point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock, to jump beneath the deathly rock. So, are you going to tell me how to get in? Two things I have for you. Two shapes, one edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. This dude is absolutely insane. Honestly, uh, so what do I do with the sphere? The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearings? Apparently. What I do with the cube? To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. The Dwemer found that a loophole it. as they always do. To focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption. And focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, bring it back, and Septimus can read once more. Um, what do you want with the Elder Scroll? Ooh, an observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart, and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all sight given by an Elder Scroll. What is an Elder Scroll anyways? You look to your left, you see one way. You look to your right, you see another. <laughs> but neither is any harder than the opposite. But the Elder Scrolls they look left and right in the stream of time. The future and past are as one. 
Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Ah, then the madness begins. Um. Well, that actually explains why he's pretty much absolutely out of his mind. He tried to read a Dwemer Elder Scroll, and it drove him crazy, essentially. Then rise to your depths. What the hell are you talking about, dude? But all right, guys, we're definitely gonna have to call it a video right here, right now. Uh, in the next video, we're definitely gonna go find this lexicon and transcriber and come back to him, and hopefully he actually fulfills his promise in giving us the Elder Scroll. But if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Thank you.